So what what it, what are the um, actual uh, infections out there and how we get sick? Um, I think the most prominent is MRSA, what we've been kind of all talking about. Um, that's a antibiotic resistant type of um, staff. And if I get some of the medical stuff wrong, please hop in. Um, but basically, um, I think that's kind of one of the biggest ones. And um, like I said, it's this omnipresence of the antibiotic in the feed, um, you know, being in the water or whatever, however the mechanism for that specific farm um, is given to these animals. The animal develops an infection. Um, sometimes the farmer might notice that there is one sick, so they blanket feed the entire herd more antibiotics, um, which is a common common practice. Um, and then, usually, uh, or what I've seen, uh, I don't have figures or anything, but a lot of the um, human interaction is with workers. Um, two years ago, in a Batesville, um, I think it was a Pilgrim's Pride uh, poultry facility in Batesville, here in Arkansas, um, 32 workers came down with MRSA and, act and eventually uh, brought it back to their families. I don't think there were any actual fatalities, but um, you know, the workers' children's got, children got sick, a couple of the elderly parents that they were living with got sick, and this is actually from um, the, like the skin of the animal. Um, <clears throat> I saw a really disturbing, disturbing report that, that had uh, these researchers, um, you know, finding the most ridiculous uh, ways that staff could kind of find its way into our life um, from industrial animal farms. And what they did is drove behind those big tractor trailer trucks with the chickens on it. And so there's feathers going everywhere, you know, on the highways. I know everybody around here has seen that. Well, they had their windows open, and when they got off the highway, they tested a Coke can that was sitting in the front seat of their car, and it actually had traces of staff. And it was from the feather that got plucked out of the bird, flew into their car, and landed on that Coke can. So the possibilities are really endless, and it's really kind of scary. But, um, you know, you think of the train of this product, the, the maintaining by the farmers, and then the slaughterhouse, and then the meat packing, and then the transportation, and then um, and then you pick up your chicken or thigh bone, and you wash it, and you try to cook it well, but if you don't, you know, wash your hands, if you don't throw away that container immediately, if you don't take the proper uh, precautions, it's going to end up, you know, on your hands, on your kitchen, on your utensils. So I hope that answered your question. So could I just interject something? Sure. Well, there's been a couple, and I don't... It, it kind of um, bothers me a little bit, I guess, because it, it's easy to point fingers. And, well, it is. It, it really is. Now, all of these things that we're talking about are problems. But I, I know, at least I personally, don't want to cross the line to suggest that it, it's all a matter of irresponsibility. Uh, certainly, there are issues there that we need to talk. One of them that no one has brought up that I think needs to be brought up and maybe discussed a little bit is the the responsibility on behalf of the patient. Uh, when you get an antibiotic, you have to take it the way it was prescribed. So, I mean, there's a lot of responsibility to go around. But don't forget that, uh, and this is another thing that I point out to to medical students, and unfortunately I've been alive long enough, well thankfully I guess I don't remember it personally, but it did happen in my lifetime when the Surgeon General of the United States went before Congress and said literally, and I'm quoting, we can close the book on infectious disease. He, this person obviously did not understand bacterial genetics. Um, it, but it's now that we're seeing this. It's now that we're really fully understanding the impact of what we're talking about. That's why forums like this are important, because not everybody's aware of it. Not everybody knows it. Um, you know, I don't think these farmers have any ill intent. I know Claire doesn't either. They're just trying to make a living. And they would probably be as surprised as anyone to find out that, that there was MRSA on that Coke can. 
Um, but but that's again why we're having these discussions. That's why it's important to recognize where the problems are and what all of us, uh, what role all of us play in trying to control those. Um, so that's I know somebody said don't get on a soapbox. Do I have to go outside now? <laughs> <No>. Okay. <laughs>